All right, well, it was supposed to be a peaceful powwow at Facebook where uh, anyone and everyone in charge, including Mark Zuckerberg, uh, would hear it out from advertisers wanting to bolt from the company and a number of groups concerned that hate speech is, is accepted and in, indeed encouraged at the company. Um, so you wouldn't expect the reaction uh, that uh, Zuckerberg got or that those in power at Facebook got. A collective were not impressed. Yet the stock itself has barely budged. Why is that? Shana Glenzer uh, with us right now. Shana, you know what's remarkable is how much this stock has held up throughout all of this and continues to. W what's going on? Yeah, so, you know, feedback loud and clear from those groups participating yesterday was that they are not pleased with Facebook's lack of action. Uh, but to your point, uh, it's not having significant impact in these these boycotts, these ad boycotts that will last for some through July and others until Facebook makes significant changes, also don't seem to be budging the stock price much. Uh, so what is, right. what's interesting, we're at the beginning of July. Uh, if these boycotts continue through mid-end of July uh, and start really impacting the numbers and more of those top 100 advertisers join in, I think that's when you'll start seeing some movement in the stock price. Yeah, because up to now, big names, and we're showing of just a few of them, including Coca-Cola, Ben & Jerry's, and on and on. Um, but in the vast scheme of things, it still represents about 8 or 9 percent of revenue for the company. Now, that might change to your point. But in, in the scheme of things, obviously, you're running a company like Facebook. You want to mitigate that damage. But what do you see happening? Well, you know, if, if Mark Zuckerberg's own words are any indication, you know, he said in an employee-only meeting last week that, that he's not concerned, uh, that the advertisers will come back, uh, and that, um, you know, that they're not going to change any policies because of, of, of this advertising. You know, I, I think that um, the pressure, the continued uh, pressure here from advertisers and also very vocally from these um, Anti-Defamation League and, and um, anti-discrimination groups uh, will put some pressure to take more action. Uh, but again, I don't believe there is, a, there clearly was not communicated yesterday, a definitive action plan to take steps. So I think they're, they're hedging their bets a little bit on what exactly they do, specifically around that all-important political advertising. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know what happened or what went down at this meeting. Um, some anecdotal reports from those that were there said um, that Zuckerberg was actually kind of uh, condescending to their views. In other words, what, what's the big deal? Um, I don't know if that's true. And I, I, I just say that a sentiment that built a frustration from attendees that he was dismissive of their concerns. What do you think? Well, it, certainly in some of the specific language that was reported back out of the meeting and from a few specific or different sources were that some of the language he used did uh, downplay term, you know, their, uh, the importance of their issue. Uh, for example, example, using words like, you know, I'm trying to understand the nuance here. Um, and for these organizations, uh, you know, in their own words, you know, white nationalism is not a nuance. Uh, it, it, you know, and, and, and this racism and hate speech is not a nuance. It's something that needs to be addressed. And specifically for this upcoming election, you know, needs to be, you know, Facebook needs to take action to ensure that, you know, votes are not, voters are not, you know, discouraged from showing up to the polls and that we re have a repeat of what we saw from Russia during the last election. Shana Glenzer, thank you very, very much. It is the weirdest of all things because to your point, so far, so far, uh, Facebook is dodging um, the real financial impact of this, but that could change.